Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another designer's desk here in the Brick Mania studio. Uh, today Dan is joining me and we are talking about the Albatross D3. Uh, first two batches sold out very quickly online, so at least upon its initial release, the only place you're going to be able to get it is Brick Mania retail stores. Um, it is scheduled for restock eventually, but it'll be a little bit of time before they come back out. But at the same time, props to everyone who got one uh, in pre-order because this looks awesome. I love the colors initially. Uh, tell me a little bit about this plane. Well, this is the Albatross. It's an Albatross D3. So Albatross being the manufacturer, um, as opposed to what we normally think of German planes, Fokkers, which mm -hmm. are actually Dutch, but <laughs> um, But the, the Albatross D3, this was a really unique aircraft during World War One. It was the first airplane that had like a wooden body, actually. Okay. So when you see these colors on here, that's not because it's like um, painted that way. It's actually wood. So they would just varnish it, and you'd end up with a sort of wood color. The, the tail, I believe, is, is, is a little, the rudder's a little different, mm -hmm. why it stands out. But um, it, it was way ahead of its time. Okay. Super aerodynamic teardrop shape. You can see this teardrop shape um, in, the, in the aircraft. That's super aerodynamic. Uh, other, other feature of it would be this radiator. They had a, so it's a water-cooled engine, and they had a radiator on this one. It was up on the wing top. Um, in fact, on this one, you can see the radiator right in the middle. Um, and in the instructions, they show you that you can put the, the radiator either right in the middle or off to one side. That's both, both is correct because they soon learn that if a radiator gets punctured, like by a bullet hole, mm -hmm. uh, it'll splash hot water right in the pilot's face if it's right <laughs> in the middle. So they decided they would move the radiator off to the right so they sure. save the pilots from having to duck, among other things, boiling hot water coming out of their face. <laughs> so, so um, some other cool things about this model, we actually did a little bit of research. This particular coloration is from Lothar von Richthofen. So brother this is of the Red Baron. A little brother, the, the, the younger little brother of the Baron von, von Richthofen. From, this is the Yasta, Yasta 11. This would be like the, one of the more famous um, squadrons of, of World War I okay. uh, in the German, in the, German uh, you know, the, you know, the, the whole German Air Force mm -hmm. in World War I. So, um, a famous plane in, in a famous squadron. Very cool. Um, yep. Well, and I've heard uh, I've heard talks too that uh, that Lothar was actually the superior dogfighter of the two. He could have been. Kind of in, in whispers. <laughs> yeah, uh, he didn't he didn't quite earn the same reputation. But, mm -hmm. I mean, Still when you, when, you, when you're younger, you, you're, you're, whoever comes before you generally precedes your reputation, so you, mm -hmm. you, you never kind of lose that. But um, the pilot does fit inside of there. You do have in the cockpit there. Uh, the pilot will fit in. Um, there's actually a little sight tube for the for the guns, a little sight, and there are two brick arms, uh, MG08. They're air cooled MG08, mm -hmm. which you would expect on this aircraft, right in there. Let's see yeah, and they look awesome up on the nose like that. It just is a yeah, very, so right up right up cool on top look. of the engine. And we do have a pilot that he will fit in there, of course. Mm -hmm. um, he's sitting kind of high right now, but you can shove him in there if you want to move his hands down. Yep. Um, and this pilot Lando did. This is kind of an update, so. This would be a new pilot that Lando did. World War One Ace, General right? Ace. So, and, and it, we did sort of, you know, th there are some, maybe some 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 similarities between the actual <laughs> the actual Lothar von von Richto, and I don't, I don't think he was made out of plastic bricks. But, mm -hmm. um, so that's him. It's kind of a fancier. We, we've you know we really elevated our minifig game a lot. So, yes. Um, this is not the same minifig. If we would have put this out two years ago, we would have had like plain legs and. And, and not quite as cool of a uniform, but this no, is he looks awesome. awesome. Yep, and of course he's he's no longer yellow. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so all of our new sets, we're, we're pretty much phasing out the classic Lego yellow in, in favor of more realistic flesh tones. So yeah, well, it's just a very very detailed figure. Obviously, he's got the little the, the cross on there, and then the typical flight jacket, etc., right. scarf. Yep. So very standard, but also very iconic. Yep, the, the Blue Max. Mm -hmm. And this is a super swooshable model. It's like very, very sturdy, so very, it's, you know, fun to play with if that's your thing. Um, <laughs> well, of course, it's a, yeah, right. it's a toy. It's exactly. To with. <laughs> Rolls nice and easy. So, yeah, very, very cool. Anything else uh, you want to go over with this plane? Obviously, there's stickers. Um, well, we're, for we're all the artwork. you know, it, the thing that separates these models, like say this this World War One aircraft and the new generation, is we're ac actually able to use some new Lego elements. These curved slopes, mm -hmm. we could never get those in any kind of decent quantities before. Okay, uh, it's become a 
a, a, an attainable piece now. Mm -hmm. So we can use the right piece and the right colors. These are the actual colors of the aircraft. Like, you right. know, dark dark green and, and, and reddish brown, and dark tan. We didn't even have these colors like five, <laughs> six years ago, like any kind of quantities. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of nice. We're, we're really being able to uh, take take our builds to a new level. And it's all thanks to, you know, new parts coming out from Lego. So Very cool. Well, yeah, the color scheme is the thing right away that you notice about this plane just being awesome. Uh, and then, you know, once you pick it up, you notice that it's just some super okay. swooshable and sturdy miles. Yep. So props to everyone everyone who got one on the pre-order um, otherwise you'll have to head to a Brickmania retail store if you still want to pick yours up or wait for the next restock so just stay tuned for that always sign up for our email to let you know when that stuff is back in action otherwise uh, Dan thanks for talking through this and uh, make sure you go pick yours up